I'm a student pilot that organised the March for Yemen protest. My job title is Humanitarian and Policy Lead. The country faces the world's worst humanitarian crisis, with the COVID-19 pandemic compounding the effect of five years of civil war. I'm a program coordinator for humanitarian activities in Iraq. The US-backed bombing of Yemen. I was the former uh, country director for ACTED in Yemen. Run! Run! I've been working as a child protection in emergencies um, project manager and specialist. Staggering 8.4 million people don't know where their next meal is coming from, with pregnant women and children at particularly high risk. I was looking at my home back in Yemen and I was thinking, this is not the same. Yemen now is essentially split into two countries. They're now on the brink of famine, actually people that I knew and loved to pass away. The access has been poor, and not just occasionally, but consistently. Don't have regular income, they're not getting the supplies they need. The schools have been bombed, health facilities are, are destroyed. The schools are, are supposed to be protected, they're supposed to be safe spaces for children. This boy was in a minibus full of children heading back from a school summer camp in Northern Yemen. The government needing money their sales of arms is pretty much one of the only ways they can actually make money. The cuts to funding in Yemen is, you know, this is a trend. Just 87 million for 2021. Yemen, which has so many compounded difficulties, and then the pandemic comes. <laughs>